Hey yo, what up? It's Don. It's Emily Lee here. And a very exclusive appearance by Reyna. She just came into my room. She so. just came in. She's starting her own channel soon, but she's trying to get in here, get a little camera time. Uh, so we, we, we get it. What's up, Reyna? Okay, okay. we're going to do a versus video. This it's is the a big one. It's the big one. This is LeBron. Soldier 10 versus LeBron. 13th. Yes. Okay, uh, big <clears throat> price difference here. If you want to cop either of these shoes, there's a link below that you can click on, which will allow you to purchase these online if you have money. Uh, yeah. But let's hop right in on that traction. Okay, so the traction on this is a hexagonal zoom, or hexagonal, it's a hexagonal shape pattern with like lines across. It's multi-directional though. And uh, the traction is actually really freaking good. I stop really hard, really fast. And uh, there's minimal wiping, maybe like every uh, four to six plays and uh, there's absolutely no problem. I don't think it would be uh, very nice outdoors. The rubber is really hard, but... Um, yeah, it's pretty thin and shallow, yeah, the grooves. it's pretty thin and shallow, so not recommended for outdoors, but the traction is freaking nice in these. I give it like eight or nine. Um, yeah, this traction pattern is interesting. It's kind of just like a diamond-shaped traction pattern with like little pegs in it. The rubber is really hard. Um, this, I think, would, do, uh, would be more durable outside than the 13. However, traction, um, Sam, Sammy really didn't like it. Sucked ass hole. My traction was like a seven or an eight, uh, but uh, but traction definitely wins in the 13. Dude, dude uh, while doing really hard crossovers, with, when I'm going like this, and then my right foot uh, has to stop really hard, I would slip out sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. But this one, every single freaking crossover I do, I slip out. Mm -hmm. So, so um, yeah, LeBron 13 for me. If you're just gonna do a uh, regular, just um, going straight, playing like LeBron, you should be okay with either of them, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> okay, now moving on to the midsole. This is a uh, injected Phylon midsole with zoom in the heel and forefoot. Um, there is almost zero impact protection to me. Uh, my feet actually hurt after playing in these for too long, very thin, but you get a ton of cord feel, like a lot of cord feel. Yep. Um, and you get um, a decent amount of response, but s response goes hand in hand with the traction to me. So uh, traction wasn't incredible, but uh, what do we have over there? So you have uh, a Phylon midsole, and you have a bottom loaded uh, zoom units, but you have uh, it's hexagonal zoom units, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, you have a big ass uh, max volume zoom unit in the heel, which I cannot feel at all. But this zoom unit, I can definitely feel it feels really nice. It feels, it even feels like it's top loaded. I don't know, but um, it feels really nice. I can feel it actually on the ball of my foot, you know, that's where it is. Uh, so it's very responsive, it's uh, pretty bouncy, and you get a good amount of court feel in these. So, LeBron 13 for the win for the cushion. Mm -hmm. uh, now, moving on to the upper, uh, this is uh, you know, it's a mesh, uh, nothing groundbreaking. Uh, it's pretty soft on foot, though, it's cool. You got a little synthetic overlay here. Uh, you got some stretchy straps. These ones don't stretch too much. This one, not at all. This one stretches a lot and wraps around your ankle. Uh, you got some nice uh, padded kind of Achilles pillows up top. Um, overall, not too bad. Okay. Here you just, ha this is a tank. Uh, you have uh, whatever this is. I think it's like a, a hyperfuse kind of material. Yeah. You have posit right here. And you have uh, uh, some overlays right here. And just makes it super uh, thick and very hard it's not pliable yeah, really it's at stiff all, as all. It's very stiff um, and it takes a really really long to break in and even when you do break it in it's still not super soft so upper i would have to go with the lebron soldier tense for sure yeah absolutely now fit um i'm gonna go with the lebron soldier 10 for sure uh, for me i would give it a tie because i didn't really have any issues um it does seem like the lebron 13 is a little bit wider you because know, it's more geared towards LeBron's foot and he has a wide ass foot. So, um, but yeah, me, I was swimming in the 13. Yeah, this one, I w it was a little better for if you have a narrow foot. If you have a wide foot, you might like the 13 better. When they scale it up to a big size, like a size 14, like his size foot, that's like 
like LeBron James is. Like, yeah, but they're really not know? scaling it up. They're actually scaling it down for your size. Exactly. So um, they're they're like making a little bit nar- more yeah. narrow, but he has a really narrow foot, and LeBron has a really wide foot, yeah. especially for like a size fourteen or whatever. Yeah. So I think that's what it is. But anyways, um, for me, it's a tie. For Don, it is a the Soldier Ten. Yeah. Now support. Uh, who? That's tricky. Um, this one comes up. I feel, it just feels higher. I'm gonna go with this little bronze soldier ten. It feels like it, it feels like you're wearing an ankle brace, right? So I, I would actually go with the soldier ten. I, I felt super held down and taken care of. It almost felt like it was impossible to roll my ankle, even yeah. though I know it's not. So if you look at it, the uh, soldier ten is like one inch higher in the um, the sides where the ankle is. The tongue yeah. is exactly the same length. Uh, for me, yeah, I felt uh, my ankle was way more secured, but when I had an ankle brace on, uh, both of these shoes held my foot in, uh, so support, ankle support, with an ankle brace was uh, tied, but uh, without an ankle brace, uh, the ankle protection was uh, good on this one, better on this one, but uh, yeah. I did feel a lot more restricted in this one, you know what I'm saying? So if you want more of like a kind of a more freer ankle, like, what do you call it? You want more of a freer feel, uh, more freedom in your ankle then you should go with the LeBron 13 even though it does give you an ample amount of ankle protection yeah okay and uh, but support wise here I this is way better though because uh, yeah. this is just you know it's still LeBron 13 yeah okay uh, moving on to uh, lockdown, lockdown. Um, I give it a tie actually I, I would, give it to the LeBron 13 I would give it to the Le- LeBron 13 a little yeah. bit um, you know I, I put in another insole in to bring me up and that brought me up enough to feel it how it's normally supposed to be felt, you know, if I was, as if I was a wide footer. And I didn't have too many problems with lockdown. Um, I did have some problems lockdown in the mid foot in here. I was sliding around laterally, um, like when doing cuts and stuff, which is, I haven't really experienced in too many shoes. I did not like that. Um, and also the heel. Yeah, a little bit of heel slippage too. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Okay, moving on to uh, durability. Uh, LeBron I would say, 13, yeah. yeah, that thing's just, uh, <laughs> I don't know, this, this shoe's gonna last forever. Yeah. I mean, you can't, these aren't even biodegradable, exactly. you know what I mean? Uh, it's gonna ruin the fucking environment. Yeah. You know? Okay, uh, moving on to aesthetics, LeBron Soldier Tents. Even though this is a dope-ass colorway, LeBron Soldier Tents too. Yeah. Yeah, no? Okay, price. Uh, you wanna do weight? Oh yeah, let's weigh these real quick. Let's do these motherfuckers. So, uh, the LeBron 13 is a seven and a half. Mm-hmm. And the LeBron Soldier 10 is uh, an in, in, in 8. Okay, so the LeBron 13 is 13.12 ounces. And the LeBron Soldier 10 is like 12 something, I think. Oh no, 13.5 ounces. Mm-hmm. But that's a size 8. Yeah. So, um, really? What? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, actually, the LeBron 13 is pretty light. Yeah. Uh, it, it, uh, a lot of times, the, the weight of the shoe doesn't matter as much as like how bulky it feels. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this is like, there's just a lot of material here. Yeah. It just feels more bulky than this. You know, so weight is uh, pretty much the same, but um, bulky, uh, bulkiness would um, go with the LeBron 13. It just yeah. feels way more bulky. Okay, For so sure. moving on to price. This is $130. The LeBron Soldier 10 is $130. The LeBron 13 is $574. The $200. Dollars. But you can get them on sale for like, what, 100, 100 bucks right yeah, now? Yeah, 100, 110. They didn't, they didn't sell well. Yeah, so um, just so price not in, uh, factored in, I would just go with the LeBron 13, dude. The LeBron Soldier 10, I did not enjoy playing these all, especially because of the traction. Um, the traction is better than the LeBron, LeBron 13s, and the cushion is way better. Uh, materials are better than Soldier 10s, but you know, that's not really. Okay, now let the big boy talk. Okay. I would go LeBron Soldier 10, no. hands down. Hell to the no. LeBron 13, one of the worst shoes I've ever played on, played in in my life. That's Get one of the shoe. worst shoes I've played in. Who are you going to trust? Me. Sammy, probably. No, okay, so uh, <laughs> Don is... He buys more shoes than me. <laughs> so S- Sammy's opinion, uh, I my, my type of play is I'm, I do a lot of crossovers and cuts and stuff like that. Uh, so do I, though, yeah, Don too. does, but like um, he... He does a lot more uh, post-up stuff and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So um, if you're that type of player, then LeBron's uh, they, both of these shoes would be better, but uh, would be good. Yeah, but pretty much it just there's there's certain categories that are just real different. Exactly. If you're if you're a wide footer, you're gonna go there, right? If you care a lot about traction, you're gonna go there. 
Um, if you want a little bit more ankle protection and feel a little bit less bulky and light, you're gonna go here. So it's pretty much up to you. Um, but you know, uh, we, we actually kind of really disagree on these. But you know, that's gonna happen. But let us know what you guys think in the comments. These uh, are garbage. These are dope. These are, these are sick. Uh, he actually doesn't really like them that much, right? I do. I like them. Really? Yeah. You said they were like not the best, but they were okay, right? Well, they're not the best, yeah, for sure. But like, I, I like them. Really? Yeah, for sure. Especially for 130. Okay. It's not bad at all. Okay. And I think they look dope too. Yeah. Um, and they're light, and but you know, uh, there's some categories that I particularly are are important to me. All right, so there it is. Um, we will catch you guys next time. My name is Don. Seven here. We are the Soul Brothers. Later. Peace.